Hey guys, uh, this is David from Pixera, and I'm recording this short video to show you where Adobe stores camera profiles on your hard drive. Um, if you're not sure what a camera profile is, just do a Google search to uh, understand what they're used for. But High level, a camera profile is used in Adobe Camera Raw when uh, doing a raw file conversion and setting um, a certain look on a file. Um, I'm gonna keep it at that for now. The scope of this video is simply to understand where the camera profile files live on your computer. For this video, I'm focused primarily on a Mac because that's the computer that I'm presenting from. Um, Windows, it's a similar process, but the exact folders, uh, again, I don't have that information on this video, but a uh, quick Google search will answer that. So for those on a Mac, how do we start? Let's go into Finder. And let's, first thing we do is we go to the menu in Finder and we wanna make sure we're at the very top of our hard drive. So when I go, go home, it puts me at the very top. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna say go and I'm gonna hit the option key because I need to get into a hidden folder called library. So you can see right there, as I hold down the option key, that the library folder becomes visible. So now that it's accessible, I'm gonna go into the library. Now, the exact path to where these files are stored varies on different computers. So I'm going to, from here, I'm going to just type the extension of the file that I need, which is DCP. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna search the library and it's gonna go through all the folders on my hard drive and it's gonna find where I have camera profiles. And you can see um, I have Apple, iPad. I've got a profile for a lot of different cameras. And the next question you're probably asking me, okay, well, tell us, where are these files? So the way that I do it is I just click on any file, I find the one that I'm looking for, and then I simply look down at the bottom on my uh, finder to see the path. So I got library, I got application support, then it goes into Adobe, then into Camera Raw, then Camera Profiles. Uh, in this particular case, this one's stored in Adobe Standard. Um, for this video, I am trying to find some Visco camera profiles that I purchased years ago. And I know the name of the profile. So I'm just gonna search for Fuji, cause it's a Fuji profile. And if I go here, I have all these Fuji profiles and I know based on these names that these were created by Visco cause they match the names of the, uh, profiles uh, inside um, Lightroom when I'm using Lightroom. So for this video, I'm just trying to find um, Fuji 400. And here it is. Uh, oh, nope, wrong camera. Um, so if I have an X-T2, so I keep searching until I find Fuji Film X-T2. And here are all the profiles that I'm looking for. These were purchased and I wanted to know where they, where they were put on my hard drive. And here's the answer to my question. So for my camera, which is a Fuji Film X-T2, here is the profile or the profile that I would be looking for. And the location is right down here. Library, application support, Adobe, camera raw, Camera Profiles, Fujifilm X-T2. So you're gonna look for the one that um, 
is based on your camera manufacturer because camera profiles, as the name implies, are created either by Adobe or by a third party for a specific camera type. Every profile, even if it's the same film simulation or it's a, uh, you know, a different flavor of a profile, there's always one that's specific to a camera. That's why they're called camera profiles. Okay, that's uh, the end of this video because it was a very simple, quick video just to show you where to go to find the camera profiles. Thank you very much.